Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be updating my 21 and 21 project pan. This is the finale update. So as a reminder, this last month, so in November, I hadn't had a chance to film at the beginning of the month. So I did like a mid month update and then told you I would just be doing the finale. So my numbers are a little bit kind of wonky because I will be kind of skipping November's numbers in exchange for December. So things might be a little off. But in my graph that I have, which I think, I think it'll be on this side. No, it'll be on this side, maybe. But on the chart where I have all my numbers, I will put November's numbers. So you will see the total usage of the month. It's just in my chart right here. It's going to be easier for me to just go ahead and give you this last month's count. And then you can see the total count on the side here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through my 10 products that were currently in the project. I'm gonna update you on all of those and then we will go through all the goals that I hit from start to finish in this year. I'm gonna try to keep this succinct because this could be a long video. So let's just get right into it. Starting out with our concealer. So I think it was just in November I introduced my Rare Beauty Concealer. And this is the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer in the shade 120C. Like I said, I rolled it in at the beginning of November and I was pretty far up. I was all the way up here. My goal was to use it just 30 times. I didn't want to neglect my other concealer. And so I didn't want to make my goal like emptying it or anything like that because I wanted to be able to use the other one if I wanted to. Turns out this works really well mixed in with that concealer. So I would use that concealer. I would kind of create, it's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I would use like, I would make like a triangle under my eye. And then I would just take this to dot right at the edges and blend it all in together. It looked really, really good. It's what I wear, I've been wearing pretty much exclusively for the past two months. And I really liked it. It's worked pretty well. Not as nice as my Pat McGrath concealer, but still pretty good. So because of that, I got to use this far more than I had originally anticipated. And I have gotten all the way down here. So hopefully in the picture you can see there is a line, a settling line that's a little bit darker than the rest. So it looks kind of like it's up here, but really the line is settling right there, which is really, really crazy. Like I don't feel like I've used this that much, but I, I mean, I went, the subtle line was up here when I marked it and now it's all the way down here. So I used a ton of this product in just two months. I did use this literally every day in December. So I used it a total of 31 times, which puts me at a total of 47 uses within the project, which did get me to 21 goals hit. So I officially did it. I hit 21 goals within the year 2021, but more on that later. We'll go ahead and move on to our foundation, which is also from Rare Beauty. And this is the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation, I believe. It's in the shade 140C. Um, I really like this one. It's really liquidy, so you can't mark it at all. It's just super, super liquidy. My original goal was to empty this. I have not emptied it, um, but I can tell that I've made some really, really good progress. Every time I get it out, the doe foot is a little bit more dry than before. I'm not getting as much product on it. I'm having to re-dip, which is nice. I mean, I've made a lot of progress on this. This is a good foundation. I don't like it as much now as I did when I first got it. I don't know whether that's because it's older and it's like kind of maybe breaking up a little bit. I've just found that it's not, it's not my favorite thing to wear. I have other foundations that I've liked way, way better and I just, I'm kind of ready to have it done. Because I can't mark it, I have been weighing it. And this last month, I think it was down to 2.33 ounces. So that means I used up 0.1 ounces this last month. And I did use it 30 times this last month. So practically every day, there was one day I didn't use it. And that puts me at a total of 104 uses within this project, which is a lot of uses. The total ounces I used up was 0.35 from the start of rolling this in. So that's a, you know, that's a pretty good amount. There is one fluid ounce in here. I'm not really sure how it translates exactly because I know it's not a one for one necessarily ounce to fluid ounce. So, you know, somewhere around 1.35, which I had used it a ton pr prior to 
um, rolling it into the project, but I'm not really sure how much product I would have used before. So while I didn't hit my goal on this one, I have made a lot of good progress on it and I'm really happy that I've been able to focus on it. Next up is my bronzer. And again, this was rolled in at the start of November. So you will see two months worth of progress on this one. And this is my Maybelline City Bronzer. This is, I did get this in Paris when I was there two years, three years? 2019, two years ago? Almost three, almost three years ago, which is kind of crazy. And so the color is different than here in the US. Um, it is light warm 150 and I'm not positive what that translates to here, but it is, I think the lightest shade that they have in this. The lid did break off. So I'm just going to show you here what it's looking like. And this is the progress I've made. It's crazy. I can't believe how much progress I've made on this. I am so, so close to hitting side pan over here. It is just wild to me how much pan I've seen grow on this thing in two months. My goal with this was to use it 60 times, but I did my math incorrectly and didn't realize that that wasn't super achievable. So, you know, that's okay. So I didn't hit that goal. However, I did use it a ton. This last month I used it 29 times, which put me at a total of 51 uses within the project. And again, 51 uses and this is how far I've gone. I'm just so amazed that I've gotten this much progress on it. I'm, I'm really excited about that. That gives me hope that it's not going to take me more than, I don't know, I think another two months and I could finish this up, which is so cool. I'm very excited about that. I do really love this bronzer. I love it more than I remembered loving it, which is something that is always fun. It's always good to to discover that you love something more than you thought you would or thought you did. And so that's where we're at. Next up is my highlighter and this is my NARS Fort de France highlighter. It's been in all year. We've made a lot of progress, gotten to know this product real, real well. And here is where we are at on it now. So I did originally have the goal of emptying this guy up, but I changed it I think it was just two months ago, two or three months ago, I decided instead of trying to empty it out, I would just go for 300 uses on it because it's just so much product and I did not realize how much product it is. It's incredible. I have used this so many times and I feel like there's no end in sight. Like, yeah, that's a ton of pan, but this is repressed and there's still so much product in here. There's so much product in here. I don't doubt that this would last me another six months of daily usage. So insane amount of product in here. You get a huge bang for your buck if you buy these NARS highlighters. Totally recommend them. I did use this a total of 24 times this last month, which put me at a total of 317 uses in the project. So this last year, I used this 317 times. That is so much. And I still have so much to go. And I had used it so much before because I started the project with this already having pan in it. Then I repressed it and then I got pan again. It's just, it's an incredible amount of product and it's definitely worth every penny. It is my favorite highlighter. I'm not sad to still have it because I love it so much. I would totally repurchase it once I get some other highlighters used up. But in the meantime, I did hit my sub goal on this and I'm really happy to have gotten so much product used up out of this. All right, moving on to our two blushes. We're gonna start with the Pixie Beach Rose Blush. My goal with this was to use it a hundred times. Here is what it's looking like right now. It's, I feel like it's moved a pretty good amount and yet so little at the same time. It's so, there's so much product in here and it goes so slowly like this, this is crazy to me. So let's talk about usage. This last month I used it a total of 15 times, which in the project put me at a total of 108 uses. So I hit my goal, which is awesome. And I used it over a hundred times and there's still so much product in here. This thing is gonna take me forever to empty, which is why I didn't even try emptying it this year. I was like a hundred uses. Yeah, we'll see how far I can get on that. This is gonna take me at least 500 uses. I think to to actually empty it out. It's insane 
how slowly this product goes. But I love this blush. It's beautiful. It's what I'm wearing today. It is probably my favorite blush that I own. Probably. It's just, it's really, really good. It can be, it can be on the more pink side if you want to build it up, but it can also just give you a very nice, like subtle nude flush and it's, it's beautiful. So I'm thankful that I've gotten so much use out of it. I can't believe that there's so much product left in here. Next up is my Charlotte Tilbury blush in Pillow Talk. And my goal with this was to use it 50 times. I will show you what it looks like first, and then we will talk about usage. You can see there's hardly any sign of change. Like you can see some movement on there. It's just, it just doesn't change a whole lot. It's just like, I don't know. It just doesn't hardly, like there's no dip or anything, which I mean, I use a big fluffy brush, so you're not really supposed to be tapping into this heavily or anything where you would be creating a dip, but it's just kind of crazy to me that like, I don't know. You see so little movement on these kinds of things. Blushes take forever. I used this 16 times this last month, which put me right at 50 uses in the project. I hit my goal on it. Again, 50 uses. And like, I still feel like if you showed this to someone, they'd be like, oh yeah, maybe it was used once or twice. But I used it over 50 times. I don't know how. I don't know how it does this, but this will be in my collection for a really long time. It's such a beautiful blush. I am happy to have it in my collection. Yeah, yeah. That's really all I can say about it. Next up is my Bobbi Brown Gel Liner. And this one is just like the NARS highlighter. I have had it in since the beginning of the year. The original goal was to empty it. And I did update that goal to a usage goal. I said I just wanted to use this 200 times and I did hit that goal. Here is what we are looking like currently. I am just thrilled with the amount of progress I've made on this. It is crazy how much I've gotten to use out of this in just a year. Obviously, I still have a ton to go, but it's just, it's, wow. <laughs> I, I feel like all said and done, there's probably only about a third of the product in here from when I started because I've been kind of working away at the side. So it's, I don't know, it's just... It's a ton of product. I'm really happy with my progress. I used it a total of 16 times this last month, which put me at a total of 205 uses within the project. And yeah, again, that's 205 uses in a year. That's really, really good. That's really good for a product. So while the original goal wasn't met, I am so happy that I got 200 uses on this. Personally, I'm more of a liquid liner fan. I just enjoy that more but this is such a good gel liner. It does a really good job. It does seem to be drying up. So I think I'm gonna try to like mix it up and see if that helps, see if I can get it to not be so dry and cause I think it's flaking a bit when I use it. So I'm gonna try that, see how that works, see if that helps, but it is on the older side. So it kind of makes sense that it would be doing that. But all in all, I'm really happy with the progress I've made on this particularly for not being a gel liner person. All right, on to the final three products. And these are my lip products. So we are starting off with the M Cosmetics Infinite Lip Cloud in the shade Faded Clementine. My goal was to empty this. And as you can see uh, with all of that windowing in there, it's, it's done. I finished this guy. Yeah, I could probably get one or two more uses out of this if I really forced it, but there's no reason to do that. It's it's a mini. I got a lot of usage out of it and I'm happy with it. It, it was good. It was a good little test because I don't love this formula of this color, but I do love this color. So I am definitely going to be buying one of their lip glosses in this shade as well as I think probably their like balm lipstick thing. I don't remember what it's called right now, but it's, it's like they're, it's basically like a tinted balm. I'm definitely going to be getting it in these shades because I really do love the shade. It's just in the, not in this formula. This formula is not really for me. Um, at least not in such a bright shade. I used this 14 times this last month to get it finished up, which put it at a total of 37 uses. 
within the project. So, you know, that's not a ton, a ton of usage, but it is a mini and no, I didn't take the stopper out. Yeah, I could probably find a way to scrape the sides just cl as clean as possible, but I'm not interested in doing that. It's not fun for me to do that. Makeup is about having fun and enjoying yourself. And when you, when I have to do that sort of stuff, it's just, it takes the fun out of it for me. So I'm done with this one, calling it another success. Next up is my KKW lip liner in the shade Nude 1.5. My goal with this was to use it 45 times and I did hit that goal. I will show you on my notebook where it's at. So again, there's no November marking in here because I just kind of skipped over marking it at the end of November like I normally would. So my last one was here in October and then here is where I'm at from December. I still have so much product in this lip liner. However, 45 uses is a lot of uses. I did use it 22 times this last month, which was a total of 47 uses. So I over shot my goal. And I'm really glad that I pulled this into the project because I was kind of on the fence with it. I didn't love it all that much, but I learned to like it more the longer I had it into in the project which is one of the things about project panning that's great. You can find out that you actually really like products that you had no idea you liked um, or that you thought, you know, was just kind of whatever in your collection. And then you started using it and you're like, oh, this is wonderful. I like this way more than I thought I did. This is one of those products for me. I didn't love it because I felt the color was too deep for me, but I found that I just wasn't always using it with the right shades. And when I started using it with the right shades, like, this lip color today, it ended up working out really, really well and I really loved it. My final product is my YSL Velvet Cream in the shade, I think it's N216 Nude Emblem. <laughs> it's a mini that I got for free from Sephora. I threw it into this project because I just wanted to get to know it and see if I liked it. I was just wanting to use it a total of 15 times. However, I didn't do that. I only used it two times this last month which was a total of three uses in the project. This was another one that I put in at the beginning of November. I I had used it a few times prior to the project and it's just not really my favorite shade. It's a little too pink for me and a little too bright of a pink. So, and and then the, the formula is kind of like the Infinite Lip Cloud where it's just, it's a thicker formula and I don't love that, um, particularly with bright colors. It just, like, they fade away kind of weird for me. And I don't know, I just, I didn't love it, but I wanted to kind of give it a shot and see if I liked it. I decided against it. Like, after the two uses this month, I just, every time I looked at it, I was like, nah, I just don't want to. So I feel like that's a sign that I don't need this. I don't need it in my collection. I look, every time I look at it, I'm just not interested. And that tells me I don't, I don't need to keep it. I don't need to force myself to use this. I got it for free. It's a mini. It's not, it's not worth me keeping it. So I'm going to declutter this. I'm going to ask some friends and family if they want it. It's, you know, it's small. It's cute. It's nice. It's just not for me. It's just not my thing. So didn't hit my goal on this one, but you know, it, I guess in some ways I kind of did because the whole point of rolling this one in was more of just testing it out and seeing if I liked it and I discovered I didn't. So this one's working its way out of my collection and I'm happy with that. So that is my update for the finale. Before we go though, I am going to run through with you all the products that I hit goals on real quick. We're just gonna run through them quickly. I'm going to show you the product tell you the name of it and a number of uses it took me to hit the goal on it. And then we are going to wrap up this whole video and move on and celebrate 2022 and what's coming ahead. All right, here we go. Let's dive into all these goals. The first goal I hit in this project was my Buxom blush sample. It is the Wanderlust Primer Infused Blushes in Dolly and Mykonos. It only took me 16 uses to empty this guy up and that was my first goal hit. Next was my H&M Cream Fusions eye color in the shade Sirocco. I was working to hit pan on this and I did hit pan on it. It took me a total of 25 uses to hit pan on this. 
and it was my second goal. Number three was my Milani Screen Queen foundation. I loved this foundation. It was fantastic. It did get kind of hard to empty at the end, if I remember correctly, but I still love it. It is great. I highly recommend it. This one took me 59 uses to empty up and gave me number three. Number four was my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade One Fair. And I used this guy, as you can see, I used it so, so, so much. Um, I loved this, loved, love it. It's fantastic. I would totally consider repurchasing this one. I used it a total of 81 times within the project to empty it up. Next up was my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. And I used this one a total of 74 times to get it used up. And that was my fifth goal that I hit. My sixth goal was also a Charlotte Tilbury product. And this was my Film Star Bronze and Glow contour duo thing contour highlight duo, I think it's called. And my goal was to hit pan and sculpt. I did that, but it took me 102 uses, which was far more than I anticipated, but we got pan. After that was my NARS Audacious Lipstick Sample Set. There were eight shades in here and I used most of them up. Some of them I used like five times and then decluttered them. Other ones I kind of mixed together and I just, I, I found various ways of using them. It took me 45 uses all said and done to get through this sample kit. And I actually found one shade that I really, really love and want to bring in my collection from it. After that was my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And you can see I use this little baby up. He's gone. It's completely gone. It is as gone as it can be. And I, I completely finished this one up. I loved this lip liner beautiful lip liner. I really kind of miss it in my collection. The color of it was just fantastic. I used it a total of 96 times and got it used up. Also from Charlotte Tilbury and not in its original packaging is the lipstick Enigmatic Edward. Um, it was like a clear balm and this is just, it came in a refillable package. So I just went ahead and removed it. I've actually refilled the packaging with another lipstick. So I just went ahead and took this out. This is what it's looking like now. It only took me 11 uses to use this. It was already really, really low, but I wanted to get it used up. So I just focused in on it and got it done. And it gave me my ninth goal. After that was another NARS product. And this is my NARS Sex Appeal Blush. And my goal was to hit pan. I hit pan after 48 uses, which I was kind of surprised. It is just a little bit of a baby pan, but it's still pan. And that was my 10th goal hit. After that was possibly my favorite goal hit. And that is my Milani Luminoso blush that I emptied up this year. This one took me 136 uses within this project to empty this blush. I am thrilled to have it done. I'm so proud of myself for sticking with it. The 11th goal, hit. Then I emptied another lip balm, which was my NARS Laguna lip balm. I liked this one okay. It was just all right. It only took me 26 uses to finish up and it's done. Next up was my Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer in the Perfecting Formula. It took me 104 uses to get this one used up and it is empty. Then we had my Ilia Skin Tint Super Serum Skin Tint uh, in the shade 3 Balos, I think it is. ST3 Bellows. Yeah, that's what it says on the bottom. So this one I was using on my face, but I found that the aloe in it actually was clogging my pores. So I kind of had to stop using it on my face. And instead I was using it on my arms and my legs as like a skin tint for the summer. And I finished this one up after 37 uses. Next was my Lancome Labsalu Lacquer in the shade 202. Uh, this one was pretty old actually. And I just kind of was going to use it 50 times, but then I ended up emptying it out. It took me 47 uses to do that. And I was really happy that I got to do it because the formula was very changed, but the color just lovely. So I would consider getting this again. I would consider getting it again because I do like it. After that was my deck of Scarlet mistake proof blush in the shade Savage. This was another one like my KKW uh, lip liner where I liked it way more at the end of the project than I thought I would. My goal on this one was to use it 50 times. I ended up using it 52 times and I discovered a hidden gem in my collection. Number 17 was my Lisa Eldridge lipstick in the shade Velvet Muse. And I used this one up 
completely and it is it is gone. It took me 79 uses to use it up and I discovered that I didn't love it as much as I love my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Another lip product I used up was my Tower 28 gloss in the shade Chill. This one only took me 31 uses to finish up. I found I love the formula. I don't need a clear gloss, but I love this formula for sure. And that put me at 18 goals hit. Number 19 was my favorite concealer ever, which is my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer in the shade Light 2. Very proud of myself for saying that correctly. Took me 83 uses to use it up and I will be repurchasing this very soon. Number 20 was my NARS Unleashed bronzer. I had repressed it into this butter bronzer tin. So I'm just gonna show you this because the other one, actually, it's actually right here. I thought it was in the other room, but it is right here and it was in here and then I repressed it into here and I am very glad to say that I got to use that one up. It did take me 178 uses to use this bronzer up, but it's a bronzer out of my collection and I love the NARS formula, so very glad to have used that one. Number 21 was my Rare Beauty Concealer. We talked about this one earlier. A total of 47 uses in the project and the goal was to use it 30 times. And then on to our bonus goals. Both the blushes, the Pixie Blush and the Charlotte Tilbury Blush, I hit my usage goals on. So we got 22 and 23. I emptied the M Cosmetics Faded Clementine, so that's 24. I hit my usage goal on my KKW Lip Liner which is 25. And then if we include the adjusted goals for the NARS highlighter and the Bobbi Brown gel liner, then I hit 26 and 27 on my goals. So that is it. That is the finale for my 21 in 21 project pan. I hit 25 or 27 goals, however you wanna look at it, 25 official goals, two adjusted goals. And I am really excited to go into a new project next year. I'm not intending to do 22 and 22, but I am thinking I'm just gonna continue with a, a rolling 10 pan style project pan um, because I just enjoy it and we'll just see where we get to on goals. I don't necessarily wanna say I gotta finish 22 goals. I just kinda wanna see what I can accomplish regardless of a number. As always, I hope you enjoy this video and I really appreciate you giving me so much of your time to watch a video that I'm sure is quite long. I'm sure this one is quite long. So again, I thank you for giving me your time and I thank you for spending this year with me. Uh, it has been such a great year. I know I'm not the best at returning your comments, but I am intending to work on that in this new year. I love reading your comments. I am just terrible at responding and I appreciate your encouragement and your community here. I love watching project pans and I love doing them. So I do intend to continue them in this new year. I will be introducing my new project very soon. So keep an eye out for that if you'd like to follow along with me into this next year. And I hope you had a wonderful New Year's and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.